hey, we're revisiting the good old Vadruk land destruction thing. But this time, of course, with Priest of Possibility. We play the indestructible lands, so this guy's gonna be indestructible. Turn 3, we play either Aid at the Trade Winds or we play Stone Rain to deal with their land. Then we play Vadruk, mutate on this guy because he's not a human. So we can mutate on this guy, we play Stone Rain again, and then we just keep mutating forever and ever and ever. And this guy's gonna be uh, indestructible, so it's gonna be very, very difficult to deal with. And if they don't have a way of dealing with it, just gonna keep destroying their lands until they have no lands and then they're gonna cry or something. So we have all the good mutants. We have Lord Rackus, we have Rodan, I even put in King Caesar because he has double strike, can deal with a creature and Priest of Possibility is gonna get the double strike from King Caesar. Put in Pouncing Shore Shark just to fill out the deck. And then we also have Love Song of Night and Day and reason being, this is a non-creature spell which goes to the graveyard on our turn, if we play this on turn 3 and we create the bird token, the next turn we can mutate on the bird and return the love song of night and day again. And also the first part of the saga, you and target opponent each draw two cards is very good when your opponent has no lands, because we draw into more business, they can they also draw into business, but they can't use it, because they don't have any lands. Uh, since we are playing at the trade winds, I also have a spirit companion, and I put in one baby godzilla, or polywog symbiote as it's also called. That's pretty much it, let's jump into the games! Land destruction. I never think it's been... Uh, this Shmexi before. Ooh. Uh, we do have Stone Rain. We do have Vardrock. We do have only two lands, though. Hopefully, we're gonna fix that. Hopefully. A little bit scared. Hopefully, not. Uh, hopefully, we're not gonna get land stolen, that is. Uh, go Shintai Shrine, okay. Got mill cards for me. I don't like that. Ooh, we found the land, though. Great. Uh, let's see, at the beginning of the end step, you may pay one when you do target play mills X card where X's number of shrines. You can mill one card now, and that's the beginning of this end step. Kaito, okay. That's gonna create a uh, a dude, a 1-1 one, one dude, most likely. And then it's gonna phase out, so we can't target him here with the stone. Oh, doesn't, act, doesn't do anything. Uh, that, okay. Draw this card, okay. What's his ultimate, by the way? You get an emblem. And whenever creature is combat damage a player, search a library for a blue, okay, or for a black creature card. That could be potentially something. I will take away Swamp here, try to lock him out of a color, that could be potentially useful. I don't know, potentially. Nah, nah, I had a scout balance, okay. Throne of the God Pharaoh. Each one loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control, okay. Interesting, go shit, I try and throw of the God Pharaoh, I've never seen this. Interesting. I uh, gotta say, okay, well, get rid of this. And put this down a little bit. Tapple snappers. And see what our opponent's gonna be up to now, okay? And now he has the lands. He has the lands. It's gonna be difficult. Ah, uh, gonna be difficult to win that way. Okay, who did Blightfang also? Interesting. Interesting mix of cards, I gotta say. Kaito, okay, draw this card. He's close to that emblem. I'll be taking Close to the emblem, but he doesn't have it yet. Ooh, okay. I do think I want to go this though. Find a land, hopefully. And then mutate Badrook. That would be great. Okay, we did find land. That's great. Put down the priest. Have a little bit of a blocker. If we could hit double striker. Uh, did not hit me. Did flying first strike indestructible. Okay, that's something. That's something, you know. That's something, okay? Black eyes. Okay, he's gonna get an emblem here. Maybe, okay, hell with the hole. No, well, not this time. Next time. <laughs> he needs to plus this first. This thing comes in. At least block it. Uh, so, yeah, we block there. Interesting idea to go, go Shintai Shrine into Throne of the God Pharaoh. Who would have expected that? <laughs> okay, well. Yep, we're down 12 actually. With the birdie bird. And do we go for land destruction already? I think we need to maybe deal with this Kaito Shizuki, or else we're gonna be in trouble, I think. Let's see, are we mutate? Let's see, over. Deal 4 damage to. I mean, we can attack into this guy anyway, so we deal with the Shintai Shrine, right? And then we smack this guy. Bop! Bop, bop. Bop. Oh well, he's one of lethal actually if you do it like that, but that oh, we couldn't have done it any better actually. This is, he's down one, okay. He could now Helm of the Host. 
Could do that. Possibly. Possibly maybe, okay? But this guy has land, so... He's not the usual guy you should play against. <laughs> it gets la super lands on every time. Okay, Kaito Shizuki. He's gonna be uh, plusing here, maybe. Drawing a card. There's not much else you can do with this. Drawing a card and discarding a card, yeah. Ah, that helm of the host. Stays on the sidelines, he needs a little bit more lanes. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna block here. Take the damage. Thief of Sam, it was a main, okay. Roll this card. Yep, lose one more life point there. Yep. Buff these guys up. Let's see her. Uh, yep, yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty good. Uh, we'll do it under so that we have. I don't know why we need the toughness, really, but. Let's see. We take out the Thief of Sanity. Take the Stone Rain. And cast it on his swamp. He seems to need his swamp a little bit for a couple of spells here, so. That could be good. And then we smack his face, and you smack Shizuki. And that be good. That that pretty good, okay. Down to 15. We're looking uh, looking kinda good. My opinion, looking kinda good. Here. Black Eyes Q. Okay, five manas here. What could this be about, okay? With the blight fang equips. That's scary. <laughs> With the blight fang times two. That's gonna be that's gonna be really, really dangerous, okay? We're down to nine! We need to deal with these blight fangs! Immediately! Okay, we're gonna mutate on this guy. And we'll do the under again. Ah, uh, let's see, deals four damage. That, that thing probably needs uh, need to deal some damage to it. Uh, and stone rain and stone rain. Stone rain this. Stone rain that. Yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble here, I could say. I would say. I'm saying. <laughs> I could say, I would say, I'm saying is, is, uh, mouth says things. Okay. Black Eyes Q, it's your turn, sir. Well, it's one man off equipping him. Ooh, let's see, I'll bring him your upkeep. If Enchanted Creed is untapped, tap it. Wait, that doesn't do much for you, does it? Okay. So, yeah, okay. I mean, it keeps tapping it, I guess. Uh, we're gonna mute it. You. Yeah, that's gonna be another under. Main. <laughs> this muted stack. It's huge! Okay, Stone Rain. Stone Rain. Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. Play everything. Uh, yeah, maybe we can draw some cards. That's fine. Draw some cards. Get rid of that thing. Play the Stone Rain. And then play another Stone Rain. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're in trouble now. Very much in trouble. Black Eyes QC. Had a pretty cool idea though. Would be cool if you could utilize this with like Ornithopter or something. Like you have four Ornithopters. And then you play something on turn one. And then turn two, you play Throne, and you just Oh damage! <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? It's just me, wouldn't that be kinda cool? I think that would be kinda cool. Okay, create the bird bird. Main we have so much mutate in this deck. It's insane, yep. Do this. Stone rain. Stone rain. Yep. Stone rain, why not? Stone rain. Stop! Oh! Stone rain. Stop! Oh! Some lot of stone rains. And I don't know. Put the U down, maybe. Draw a card. Mm hmm. And another mutator. You don't say, okay? Stop! Oh! Down to five. I'm, we're looking pretty fine here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Throw in there. Tapla snaps that. That's fine. Put a plus counter on two creatures. I think we have lethal, right? Don't we? Looks like it. Nice. After sunshine comes poop. Uh, Mulligan. Oh, oh, this is good. I'm liking this. We'll ship back the Rustvale Bridge. 
and uh, then we'll just play the priest of the belt of down rain and then we'll snap back them and all. Well, go is all good, I think. Oh, good. Big old doinks? Big old doinks. That sounds dangerous. Okay. Still covered planes. No, not tapped. Buddy, no. He's gonna gain life now from my crew. I don't like it, okay? Solar, now he's gonna get double life. Oh no, no. Two life points and it's tapped. Oh, that stink lingers. Yep. Gaining life, gaining life. Uh, uh. Flying first strike indestructible though. Not the worst. Feels bad when you don't have hexproof though. Next time we play this game, we're gonna have hexproof. There aren't that many cards which have hexproof though, which we haven't already played with this. There's that six mana card though. Well, what is it? Like you draw cards whenever. I don't know. You, you draw. You know what I'm talking you, Six mana, you draw cards whenever you gain life. Whenever you lose life, what is it? You mill that many cards or something? No. Not mill. Or is it? No. Something. Something, 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 something. Okay. Daxus, yeah, now he's gaining life, that's for sure. So much life again. Hello, priest. Well, thank you for... Thank you for being awesome, hello, priest. Thank you for being amazing. Do, do like your style there. Do like that Ultramarines insignia that you have. It's nice, representing. Representing Games Workshop's love childs. Not to smack talk or anything. No, 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 no. No, no. Actually, uh, the uh, the Tyranids that I played before, uh, that uh, weren't it so strong before. They're, they're actually, from what I hear, I haven't played 40k in a long while, but they're supposedly strong now. So, I uh, compared to what they used to be, Tyranids they haven't been in the best place for the last 20 years or so. But now, supposedly, they're, they're pretty decent, which I do like. I do like when the underdog. Okay. Big old doinks, he best smacks in, that's good. He knows how to smack a daka. Smack a doinka. Uh, we're gonna mute it on you. And we're gonna go over. <laughs> and that's stone rain. He's got a stink of dinkers for him. Didn't have enough lands here, really. Uh, I think we maybe stay back here. We can snap that next turn, maybe. Because I don't know if I want to go in there. I think I just want to stay on the blocks. And be on the box. That's what I think I want to do. He could just go in though, if he can get one life in some way. Just one little creature, dude. But he's that little creature, dude. Gains a life point, can go in with this. Oh, but yeah, then John is welcome. Hello and welcome. That's a, that's a good theme for a deck. <laughs> Maybe we can pick up all these. The greetings deck. <laughs> I don't want to play this because then I buff his things. So I want to wait until we have snapbacks. No attacks. End the turn. Because that's going to be difficult to kill this with. Nah. Uh, we're going to re <laughs> remove these stops. No! No! Oh, no, hello, priest. is going to be huge. Going to be huge, back dude. Okay. Oh, well. That's just how it has to be. This guy coming in. Well, we can just block him, luckily. That's not tramp or anything. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Okay, well, snap the actually owners. Following? I'm uh, gonna do that over. And what do we deal with a soul warden? It's the only thing we can deal with, so we'll deal with that. And the stone rain for the last land. It's a little bit low on lands now. That thing is gone. Gains a life point though. That's gonna buff the hello priest. Um. Nah! We stay. We stay, there's more fun to be had there. Okay, yeah, oh, we found land though. We found it. Well, um, maybe we can both draw a card, I think. That's fine. Draw the cards. Ooh, that's a stone rain. Are we fine with him gaining the life? Maybe we are. I think we play this so we can start going in with snap decks next turn. It's gonna gain some life from this. Couple of life penoints, but we can block this guy most likely. Okay, so we got double strike. We got... Oh, we didn't get indestructible as on this. Actually, on this guy. Uh, no attacks. Stay back. Stay where we are. Soul Warden, no. Ah, oh, that's a lot of life gain. That hello priest is huge. He's gonna come in for action, I know. 
I know. He wants to show off his muscles. His muscles from Brussels gonna come in. Waving. Waving those lethal weapons. No? Oh, okay. That's gonna get him even more life. That Hello Priest is so big. It is absolutely huge. Oh, well. Uh, Stone Red this. And... Uh... Save that stone ring for a rainy day. Uh, I mean, it gains life at this point. I don't think it matters. Draw card. Yep. Yeah. That hello priest is absolutely bonkers. Okay. Stone rain. Yeah. Stay. Stay back. For the time being. For the time being. Stay back. Some point we'll find a mutator, and then he's gonna be in trouble. We all know this. Okay. 1818, hello priest. Ooh, oh my god, we can even now return it to his hand. Uh, well, the bird. The bird is the word, from what I've heard. Uh, maybe the spirited companion or the priest, actually. I think we do this and his hello priest. Back to the hand you go. Play this guy again. That's gonna buff him. <laughs> That's gonna give him a lot of life points, unfortunately. If he has a Janus, he kind of gets us. He probably does. Somewhere in the deck, because uh, that exiles everything, right? That exiles everything, but it, but he needs 35 HP to, and he needs four manas. <laughs> One of the problems with playing Ionic Chris is that he doesn't have any manas. <laughs> yes, okay, so maybe, maybe probably doesn't maybe you know do that. So <laughs> maybe maybe we got him, you know? Maybe okay. Put down this. Let's see here four. Damage. Play a stone rain. Uh, return an instant or so. Yeah, that could be a stone rain. You need a couple, you know. <laughs> Just to make sure they can never get more than one land. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought it would be timing out. No, no, no. Okay, he stayed in. Okay, okay, good. Good. We have a game. That's good. Okay. Spread companion. Draw a card. Nice, 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 nice. Call of Amelia. Hopefully, it doesn't have the oven. Did you guys have oven? Uh, but didn't they change something about this? Yeah, this guy can't. Let's see. He can't block now, right? Yeah. He can't block. Mm, that could be huge. That could be amazing. The big. Maybe. 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 Grim versus Palace, though. Mm, if you have the oven, I, th I think you should play it. It's gonna go ahead and say, I think now is the time to play the oven. You will always be able to play the oven, though. Because we can never force you to be stuck at zero lands. Is there a way of doing that, though? Make it so that your opponents can't ever play and land you. Uh, we'll take action. Do you think he has more black cards or more red cards? I don't know. But we're gonna stone rain that thing. That thing goes. It's gone. Oh, he ate it up. I thought he would have like a counter or something, like the Teferi counter or something. Nope. Well, now he has the mana, so that's pretty good for him. Smack in. Number 20. Okay, so we could play something for 3 this turn. That could be huge. Possibly. Could that be? Bastion? <laughs> a Bastion! <laughs> a Bastion! No, not the Bastion! Okay, well. Gonna mutate on you. <laughs> Over. And the stone rain is gonna take out this. And then we're gonna come in smack a dragon. He's down to 17. Now he's very low. On the mana, I gotta say. Ooh, do we do this now? I think we do this first. We create the bird. Uh, or do we draw the cards also? I think we draw the cards also. This might be a little bit risky, what I'm doing here. Reason being, I want my Badrook to double trigger. That might be greedy, though. I want it to double trigger. Wait, then we should have gone for the bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing, but it worked out anyways. <laughs> okay, maybe we do this... Uh... Or do we do this? We could also do... Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 I was thinking about playing it. I was thinking about playing it. I wasn't committing to playing it yet. God darn, I mean, he didn't draw any lands, though. So maybe just draw more cards. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this works. <laughs> this works, yep. Take away that. Oh, wait, he did draw a land, actually. He has three lands. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Stone Rain? Yep. 
Green vs. Palace? That's a stone rain. That's a stone rain, yep. Calling in for big damage here. Oh! Out of 11. Love Song of Night and Day. I do like that card, I gotta say. It's a great card, actually. It's great. Rose cards, great tokens. Last part is a little bit poop, but... I mean... On the other hand, a plus counter can be useful. Damn the time, it's a little bit useful, you know. Okay, Green Burst Palace. Man, he finds a lance. That will be giving four cards on the other hand, but... Okay. Yeah, something. Call of familiar. Yep. No. Lose a life, but he's actually higher. Has a higher life total than we are. It's kind of amazing. Uh, plus Canuders. Create the birdie bird. And now... Now here it comes! Oh my god! Okay. Yeah, that's a stone rain. And that's a stone rain. Stone rain number one. Stone rain number two. Does he have Tamios now? No way. Tamios protection or something? Because that can protect any permanent, I'm pretty sure. Give something hexproof and uh, indestructible. He might be debating whether to play a card like that. Okay, no. No, no, no. Okay. I'll smack in. Big damage. Stop! Stop! And, uh, yeah, we'll just draw more cards. Draw two more. Okay, Pouncing Shore Shark. That's pretty nice. And two Stone Rains. On top of that. And, uh, yeah. Now he might be doing something. A deadly dispute. Yeah. I'm losing another life point there. Call of Amelia coming in for big smacks. Possibly. Maybe. Probably not. Same. Ah. Imagine all the people. And imagine us having blue. Imagine us having blue. Are well, we gonna keep this anyway? Yeah, we'll draw it. You know what? We'll draw it. That's, that's not a problem. Put down this, we draw it with this. Draw the blue manas. Easy pacey, lemon squeezy, right? He brought the lead. Oh, it might be. Okay, there's blue. But then we'll have to return our own lands, so that's kind of poop. Uh, maybe we try to gamble on just drawing a blue lander. On that, no, didn't. Didn't do it. Didn't happen. Okay, this might be a difficult matchup for us actually. Merfolks. Merfolkins. Ah, uh, that's a symbiote. I even forgot I had it in the deck. Okay, well, put down this. And we. No attacks. And soon we're gonna be bouncing. Soon. I mean, it seems to be lands on though. That's good for us, okay? No? Okay, I'm playing additional land. Didn't play any lands last turn though, so. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah. We'll do this. And put down this. And this is a little bit scary, possibly. And this is gonna flip at some point. A flip of the flip is gonna happen. Mm hmm. It's max in without the 15. Well, we could, uh, could draw a card with this. And if we draw into an untapped land. We can add the trade wins, we don't draw into an untapped land. If we draw into an untapped land, that would be great. Okay, no untapped lands, but we have the we have things here. Okay, so that transforms. We have the possibility to snap Daxian though, this guy. Which is good for us, probably. Okay, Merfolk, Wind Robber, a lot of Merfolkans. Plus counter, everything on the river sneak, yep. Down to 11 here. Uh, I think we gonna mutate Snapdax. Mutate you. Loink. And we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over this and we're gonna deal with that guy. And that's... I'll yeah, probably smack it with this also. He could block with the likeness. It's not though. Down to 17. He called out the playing field there a little bit. Deep root elite. Okay. Last counter, okay. Murfolk Wind Rover now, coming in, big damage. Oh, the Murfolk Wind Rover, yep. Yep, yep, all the counters on the Wind Rovers. Oh, coming in, big damage, big damage, big damage. Can we play, let's see, a Symbiote and... We can, right? If we play Symbiote, we should have enough 
for this also. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. And mutate this guy. And draw this card. Will this card be, I think, Trade Winds, because we can play that from the graveyard anyways. I'll do it under. Then we'll deal 4 damage to you. And then we'll do the other Trade Winds. And let's see, we'll return our Spirit Companion and his land there, probably. Nice, that's gone. And going for big damage. Let's see, does it block now? It does block, okay. So that thing is gone. Got a big snap decks. Oh, someone! <laughs> no! <laughs> Our plan fell apart to an unsummon! Ah, that's fine. Okay. Take three damage. Mm hmm. We can mutate though. On the symbiote. A wink! Draw this card. Uh, at this point. Maybe this thing? Because it's gonna mutate soon, I think. Okay. A little more damage. Gain some life penoints. And let's see, do we mutate again, maybe? So that seems kind of good. Um, discard a spirit companion, maybe? I will do it under. Four damage to you. And the trade wins. Nice. And uh, smack in. Big damage. Burn it. Up. Oh, another level. Okay. And we'll discard another spirit companion. Didn't really go for the land destruction this time, but worked out somehow, some way. Okay. Branching evolution! Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm! And. Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all the views! No, the. Those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% and non-subs 100%. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.